Um, oh, and also uh, the RFN specialist at the conclusion of recruitment, you know, because they've seen how everything's happened throughout the whole system, seen where all the numbers are, she can also then provide some recommendations on, um, you know, how the whole recruitment process might be improved. So those are things that would be listed in her notes um, to each of the individual groups and also in conversations with Stuart. So actually digging right into it, carry figures. Um, they're set daily for each group. What the RFM specialist is going to do is before recruitment even starts, she's going to figure out what her projections are. Based upon the past three years of data that are given, she's going to figure out what she's going to expect things to go. But we all know that things don't ever go as expected. So typically those projections um, are going to get thrown right out the window. Um, and they do get reset as things are happening in real time each evening. Um, so with a carry figure, no chapter can ever exceed the carry figure. If you're given, you can invite back 20 women to your party, you can invite a maximum of 20 women. You can't, the system ICS won't let you invite back any more than your maximum number that's inputted into ICS. So good thing you're using a computer system so that we don't have that hurdle to deal with. Um, the reason why over-inviting is not allowed um, is because when the stronger chapters over-invite, they're basically stringing along P&Ms that really they're never going to match with. That's really the basis behind it. What we, like I said, we want to really try and have those stronger chapters release more women earlier in the process so that they are given the opportunity to get to meet the other chapters that they have a better chance of actually matching with. Did, did you have a question? Steve? Yeah, can you just clarify what you mean when you say like the stronger chapter? Um, each group is given a relative recruiting strength number and that number is determined based upon a lot of different factors. Um, some of those factors include how um, do you make quota every year? Um, what are your accept percentages? What are, how many first choices do you have um, in previous recruitments? And it takes those specific things, there's a couple other factors, but those are the big factors. It takes the, that information for the past three years with a weighted average, obviously the previous years get weighted heavier, um, and it says these chapters can recruit stronger. They are, you know, their um, they're bid lists, are, they're matching um, their bid lists at a higher number, they're getting more first choices. Um, they are, the women are ranking them higher than the other groups. So that's what I mean by uh, one of the stronger chapters. It's not necessarily like I know that, you know, chapter X Y Z is the cool girls on campus. It has nothing to do with actually image or popularity um, in the eyes of the RFM specialists. It's based upon actually what the statistics are on how that group acts those past, those previous three years with um, their bid lists and matching and um, first choices and things like that, which in your eyes might be who the cool girls are or whatever, <laughs> however you want to put it, but um, that's not really how the RFM specialists are looking at. They don't know any, any of the chapters from the, any of the other ones. There really should be um, not, none of that information that even there's no reason for any of that information to even be passed to the RFM specialist about what each group is actually like on campus. It's it's all supposed to be a strict numbers game. 